Flat screen TVs seem to be topping many gift lists this year, but when you start to shop, the options can be so overwhelming. So we turn to an expert. I'm Brian Clark, the tech enthusiast, and the holiday time is a fantastic time to shop for an HD TV. In fact, here at the Best Buy store in Secaucus, New Jersey, there are a number of HD TVs to choose from. There are two different types of flat panel TVs. There's plasma, which has been around a little bit longer and as a result has or offers much larger screen sizes currently than LCD does. For example, we have a 50 inch plasma right here and over here we have a 32 inch LCD. Now LCD is the technology that's coming on strong. In fact, Samsung and Sony just built a joint plant together in Korea, and Sony announced, in fact, that they're going to be phasing out their plasmas in the next few years and focusing solely on LCDs. Another option in HDTV that actually costs a little bit less than the flat panel technology of LCDs or plasmas are projection sets. They're also known as micro displays, and they come in a couple of different technologies. There's LCOS, which is liquid crystal on silicon, there's DLP, which is digital light processing, and there's LCD projection TVs, and that varies depending upon the manufacturer. The only thing that you really need to know when you're looking at these different technologies is what picture appeals to you. It depends on your usage. It can cost anywhere from $500 on up to $5,000 or $10,000 or more, depending on the kind of television that you buy. So there are different TVs that appeal to different people. If you're a sports fan, you may be interested in a TV like a DLP set. If you're more interested in aesthetics, you may be interested in an LCD. The holiday season is a great time for people to buy HDTV, particularly this year because prices are down 25 to 30 percent over what they cost last year. And the holiday buying season is going to carry right into the Super Bowl and to the Olympics. So now is a great time to buy an HDTV. All right, and Brian joins me now uh, here with some gadgets that you might want to put on your last-minute holiday wish list. Quickly, if I want big and I want HD TV, do I want plasma or LCD? Do you want it to be flat panel? I want it to be flat panel. Then it's got to be plasma. Plasma. All right, let's move on to a couple of other things. You know, uh, the uh, BlackBerry has been big in the news lately, big cases there. But you favor the Trio, which is this little one right here. Let me show it to Mr. Camera over there. Uh, do. Why do you like it better? I like it because I just think the navigation is better. I can send emails. I can surf the web if I want to get scores, I can send text messages, and I don't have to rely on a thumb scroll wheel in order to get around the, the screen. The thing that's on the side exactly. where I'm doing this all the time. Exactly. Yeah, you yeah. can touch the screen on this or you can use the navigation. And you just like it better and it sells for about $300. Does it do everything a BlackBerry does? It does everything a BlackBerry does indeed. All right. Now I see people that I uh, sort of chuckle at uh, carrying these little uh, Bluetooth headphones. This is one by Jabra. Look at how much smaller. This is last year's model. This is this year's. Now, let me see if I can show it to you in a way that uh, indicates how much thinner it's gotten. These things keep getting thinner every year, and what makes that appealing is this thing fits behind your ear. So it's really nice to go with the Jabra BT500, which costs about $120. And it also has an LED on it uh, that blinks different colors depending on the charge, so you know when you need to recharge it, and a one-touch button that will actually connect you to your phone. So if you really want to get in touch simple. with your inner nerd, you put one of these things in your <laughs> ear, right? And, and you turn it on and you touch it and you walk around and uh, so forth. PlayStation Portable, that one uh, came out, what, last year and it is hot again this year. Uh, it is very hot this year. The games on this thing are really astounding. The screen on this thing is astounding. I popped out the disc. And I can do that again just to give you an idea of the kind of cartridge that you're going to get. Well, I'm going to show it to the camera. It's about that big, about the size of, uh, oh, maybe a silver dollar, a little bigger than that. And, and uh, not only can you play games on this thing, you can watch movies on this thing, you can listen to music, you can do just about anything you want with this. You can even network with it and surf the web. I hope my son is not watching. Uh, <laughs> let's move on now to the Sirius Radio. And this is an interesting device. Uh, tell me what it does and tell me whether it also, there's one comparable for XM. This is the Sirius S50, and, and really, when you choose a satellite radio service, it depends on what you want to listen to. For instance, Sirius has the NBA and NFL. XM Satellite Radio has Major League Baseball. So depending on what you're a fan of, you may want to gravitate toward another. This, or one or another, this one has a one gigabyte hard drive in, so you can download Sirius programming to it and then take it off and go wherever you want to go and listen to it. Mm -hmm. um, you can't listen to it live, disconnected from the unit, but you can download music 
or MP3s or anything else Sirius airs onto this. All right, and and uh, Sirius obviously is the one that is going to have uh, Howard, uh, Howard Stern. Stern after the first of the year. What does that one go for again? This one goes for three twenty nine, but there's a rebate, a fifty dollar rebate before the end of the year, um, so it's really two eighty. All right, let's look at uh, the iPod video, and here, Brian, you're going to demonstrate how much bigger the screen has gotten and how much thinner the unit has gotten. Well, on my left here, you see the iPod video. Now that is just astounding to me that they've managed to half the they've size taken of that. fifty percent out of the half. And not only that, they've increased the screen size on this thing as well. Now that's for people who want to watch TV on here. But the nice thing about the iPod video is that if you download a program, you can always take it and plug it into your television so you can watch it on a full screen. On a full screen. But Eva Longoria is very small on that screen, let's, let's face it. She's very small on the screen, but if you take her home and plug her into your HD TV, she's going to be very big on the screen. I won't go there. Uh, <laughs> Xbox 360, that's the hot new uh, video toy. Well, what happened when you saw those people running over each other on Black Friday, they were generally trying to get to the Xbox 360. Um, and uh, what's happened is there's a shortage of these things now. Um, so about the only place you're going to be able to get them is on eBay. At and a premium? At a premium. I saw the other night they're selling these things for 700 up to $900. All right. If I haven't bought one of these, I'm going to wait and go after the first of the year. But the Xbox is obviously hot. Brian Clark, thanks very much. Sure thing. I'll take a few of these. <laughs> All right. Coming up, a look at the week ahead. CNBC's High Net Worth will be right back. Joining us with some simple tips is Brian Clark. He's the tech writer at Money Magazine and tech expert extraordinaire. And actually, he's lately become my personal tech advisor with my uh, technological purchases. What do you do? You're a tech guy. Why are you talking to us about laptop, uh, about shredders? I'm going to talk to you about paper shredders because if you look at the sheer volume of paper that you receive, you know, it's interesting. The information age was supposed to cut down on the number of papers yeah. that you receive. But if you get bank statements, if you get credit card statements, any statements you have yeah. have social security card numbers on, have, have uh, birth dates on them, yeah. any of this information. Information can be used to get well, you know, you know, Nancy if a and our dumpster our, diver gets a hold of it. Well, Nancy in our makeup room, uh, she um, she always tells me that she shreds her stuff, and I, mm -hmm. I make fun of her endlessly about this. You're telling me that I should stop making fun of her? Well, you know, it's funny. I just talked to Kevin Mitnick the other day, yeah. the notorious hacker, who talked to me about uh, dumpster diving and how social people do that? do it all the time. Yeah, no kidding. And what you do is, he said, you look for boxes and you just tell people that's what you're doing. No kidding. What are you um, What are you recommending? What am you, I recommending? Have you got a shredder? I'm recommending that you either get a cross cut shredder. Right. Or you get a confetti shredder. Okay. Because what they'll do is just turn your data to pulp. If you get a, stri a strip shredder. I watch CSI. Exactly. They can put it all exactly. next to each other and glue them back together. And Exactly. They right. do that. You know, these these social engineers, they've got lots of no speed and time on their hands. All right. So where do you go for the shredder? Well, I like the uh, the fellows, and let me get the model number correct, PS60C-2 paper shredder. It's 180 bucks. It's 180 bucks. But you know what I really like about this is it doesn't just do paper. I mean, you know, you can buy a paper shredder for 20 bucks sure, or 30 bucks. Fingers in this thing. Well, you don't want to do fingers, right. actually. But credit what cards. it'll do is credit cards, yeah. which is a big deal to me. Sure. I mean, I'm so paranoid about this that I'll actually walk around cutting out pieces and dropping them in different garbage cans in different locations. That's smart, because I, I cut mine up once and I put them in my garbage can, and I've just pretty much told everybody that I have the same code, so I'm going to be like, my identity is going to be stolen by tomorrow. Going on, and I thought maybe you hadn't taken your coat off. But well, you is... know, it's not just my coat. I'm, I'm dressed for tech. Yeah. I, I'll have you know that I have 26 pockets here. Yeah. 19 All in, your gadgets 19 are going 19 in the vest. This is James Bond. This is your from heart Scott E. Vest, and one of the cool things about this vest is that you can not only get 19 pockets or have 19 pockets for your devices, you can actually run the cables for those no devices kidding. throughout the vest, so they're not sticking out all over the place. If you have an MP3 player and you have headphones, for example, you can actually run the headphones through the back of the vest and just have them come out of the top. You don't have them flopping all over the place. Online investing is extremely popular. In fact, a recent study by J.D. Power says that there are some 50,000 new accounts opened every month. Well, if you're an experienced investor and you want to get into online investing, you want to make sure that you have access to the best research materials available. And that's going to steer you to a place like ML Direct, Fidelity, or Schwab. Those trades can cost about 30 bucks a pop. They offer discounts if you make frequent trades. For instance, Fidelity will drop the price down to 15 bucks a shot if you, if you make 72 trades a year. 
Schwab will drop the price down to $20 if you make 30 trades a quarter. So you want to be very careful. That can add up if you make a lot of trades. If you have a handspring or you have a palm or you have a web-enabled cell phone, companies are making it possible for you to make trades over those devices. But you have to be really careful about being reactionary in a market. You can lose a lot of money. Do your research and make your trades and wait until something good happens. Smart Investor is brought to you by Fidelity Investments. We can help you see yourself succeed.